kindly click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the notification button for more. Thank you. Bosho noni ba ile kanro ina na maso ni pa oro akoko ti gomino ipinle ku baba jide so won lo tu won so nigbati won dibo yen won gege bi gomino ipinle na ke bo so wipe gbogbo awon ileri ti awon ti se ileri fa awon ara ipinle ku pa awon yo mu se ba kon na gbogbo awon se ta awon ti ni sile tele tele ta awon tesi waju pe awon ma tesi waju lati ri pe awon pare gbogbo yen patapata won si ni pe awon dupe lo olorun ba to je ki gbogbo gbogbo awon patapata ko ri bi won tu se dibo yun awon si ipo gege bi gomino ni igba kerin uru e ti yo fi pe odun mejo won ati ba femi am sat The mandate that was given to Femi and I about four years ago have now also been renewed. Yes. Renewed hope, given, yes. Renewed hope, yes. And we given a fresh and a new mandate. Yes. Wow. Congratulations. And so I want to first express my profound gratitude to all the Abosians. All of these large numbers that have come out to affirm that once again, Lagos has choosing competence and experience Woo! Yes. on our march to greatness. Like you did four years ago, while we're giving a delivery speech, we know that we have a great responsibility for all of our citizens and that we have been confirmed again today. We know that Lagos has worked for most of you. Our commitment is that Lagos will further work for all of us. Femi and I will be committed to ensure that all of our promises, all the things that were said, will make it happen. The ones that were started will make it, will make sure that we'll complete them, and the new ones that were promised will do them. But I think first is to thank Almighty God, who has kept all of us, all of us, up until this moment, for spending our lives, for making it possible. For each and every one of you, all of you good people of Lagos, to see today. And you have all voted from yesterday, day for yesterday, up until this moment. I want to thank you, and I think the thanks goes to Almighty God. <laughs> We are the center of commerce. Mm -hmm. We are the center of finance. Yes. We are the entrepreneurial capital of our country. Mm -hmm. We are the commercial nerve center of our country. Yes. Yes. And for over decades, Lagos has continued to remain home to several, several, several businesses and enterprises. I want to thank all of our supporters in respect of what part of the divide you are, in respect of whoever you are voted for, I want to thank all of you from the depth of our heart. Many of you did not even know us, you don't know me personally, but you all came out to express this show of love. You all came out to express your constitutional responsibility, and at the end of it, both myself, and my brother, Dr. Femi Hamzat, have been re-elected to run this interesting city and state of ours for Lagos State. I'm indeed very, very grateful and happy with our party, the All Progressive Congress, the party of choice, the party that continues to remain the hope for a lot of Nigerians, the biggest party in Africa. I want to thank the leadership of our party 
for keeping the progressive mind alive. I also want to thank our president elect, Ashwaju Paul Ahmed. Yes, yes. Man, yes. Who start yes. the journey of the modern Lagos. Mm -hmm. And we're indeed happy and excited that both Lagos and himself will now be on the same journey and achieving the Nigeria and the Lagos journey together. Mr. Yes. 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 So President, thank you very much. We wish you the very, very, very best in your new assignment. To our leader, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for promising us that you are committed to living fair a fair, just, and equitable country. This electoral process has shown, the outcome of it has shown that you are indeed, you are a man that has continued to reflect fairness. And we believe that what you have done in this election, prosperity will judge you well on this. You have been fair, you have been equitable, you have been just to everyone. I want to also thank my family, my dear wife, she is there, the wife of my deputy, Lena, I want to thank you very, very, very much. We cannot do it without all of the support that you continue to give Femi and I. To all of our fellow contestants, I want to salute you for participating in the democratic process. But the Russians have spoken. And they have spoken well. They have spoken loud. Please remember that we are extending a hand of fellowship to you. No victor, no vanquish. In the true spirit of sportsmanship. If you indeed believe that you want to serve this city, you want to serve this state, you have an opportunity with us. And we will open our doors to listen and to give you a space in this government. During this campaign, unfortunately we have seen very divisive rhetoric, which is not a definition of who we are. And so, Lagosians, we need to come together and further build the capacity, the competence, and the experience that we have in this city. Religious will not divide us. Ethnicity will not divide us. Lagos will come out bigger, stronger, and better. I want to salute all of the multitude of Lagosians who have refused to succumb to any form of divisiveness. And we're thankful that at the end of it, Lagos will continue to remain first. And it is you, Lagosians, that have indeed won this electoral battle. Of course, we are not unaware that there are a few skirmishes in some parts of the city. And I'm sure the security objectives are alive to their responsibility to ensure that Lagos continue to remain peaceful, to continue to remain resourceful, and continue to remain home to all law-abiding citizens of this country. Relevant law agencies, law enforcement agencies, have been instructed to ensure that we keep this city, we keep this city safe for all of us. And as I said in my final pre-election address, we have a lot of work to do. Moving forward, left behind any form of divisive rhetoric that will certainly not shape what we believe in. It's time for all of us to roll up our sleeves once again and push on to the development agenda of Lagos. And very importantly, it cannot be overemphasized that what unites us as Lagos is far more important and substantial than whatever people that want to divide us. We will not be divided. We are Lagosians. This is our city, this is our state, and we will build it bigger, better, and stronger. The true Lagos spirit is an embracing one, and that's what 
were put on the table. Election is over. Governance will continue. The dividends of democracy must continue to be delivered to all of our teaming um, citizens. To so all people will keep our promise to you. And that is a commitment that I'm given to you on behalf of myself and my deputy, Dr. Hamza. I will close by saying some of the things that I said when almost four years ago you also gave me this mandate that what you have done, Agostians, is not a vote for Babaji Nesomul. You voted for a greater Lagos. You voted that the promise shall not be broken. The promise of a greater Lagos will certainly not be promised, will not be broken. The greater Lagos is rising. And in your very eye, you will see the growth and development of these states to a level that will be the envy of all. Let me boldly say once again that we're on the just course, we're on the right course. The conversion of Lagos is on track. The delivery of Lagos is on track. Our hands are open to accommodate everyone because indeed the train is on the move. God bless you all. God bless you. Kindly click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the notification button for more. Thank you.